Hi guys, welcome to the channel. Click the channel and love reading for my friends Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Whenever you watch this, take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you resonate, let us know, like, share and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for the support. So guys, let's find out what messages will come through for you. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus in the Love Arena. Let's see what we can get for you guys. Right, you get four cards. So you get TikTok, No Place Like Home, Imagine and Unfinished Symphony. So this one goes along pretty well with the TikTok um, guidance. Wheel of Fortune Vibration, the Unfinished Symphony, Patience involved in a situation. Um, possibly a um, cycle that can find a closing point in order to move forward with the following stage. Then we have Imagine, which is um, an encouragement to picture in your mind the kind of outcome that you would love to experience. This is an energy uh, kind of guided. Trust your intuition also. No place like home is beautiful um, as a message because for me it vibes like the, the chance to be in a world of your own with a special someone. An auspicious energy. So, quite interesting flow. Let's see what the Tarot has to say about it for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Let's see. Almost a flyer. Alright, here we go. The Hanged Man. Six of Pentacles, Eight of Swords, Eight of Wands, bottom of the deck, so communication is important because um, I feel that it can be the key to break free from the prison of the mind that we can find within the Eight of Swords. So the lady bounded in a rope, blindfolded, surrounded by swords, which are thoughts. She doesn't realize that if she walks forward, she can be free from the self-inflicted prison of the mind. Because maybe a situation um, is overwhelming. Um, it can be a source for some kind of disappointments. Um, something that is not how we may desire it to be. It is possible that um, balance needs to be restored because the Six of Pentacles for me is a fair and fair exchange in order to avoid one of the downsides of the energy which is the one man up, one man down dynamic. So balance is important the end man is an energy that cannot be rushed kind of like the wheel of fortune indeed so patience this is an uncomfortable position and an eight of swords energy applied to a situation that is not quite how we desire the uncomfortable position can become meaningful but there is a higher purpose within the young man that justifies the discomfort because there is the opportunity to learn something meaningful and important a lesson possibly 
there is enlightenment that can be achieved the ability to see things in a different perspective in a different light that can be the key to implement the adjustments that can help the movement forward of the situation it is important that when we express words we need to be able to make the point in a very clear way in order to facilitate the exchange the eight of wands is a quick fast sudden energy of communication usually cupid's arrows arrows of love so feelings can be involved um, within the situation we need to be clear about the things that are important for us and be able to communicate them properly especially if there is an overwhelming set of energies that um, is working against the situation so let's clarify this combination let's see what we can get all right here we go four of swords six of wands ace of wands which is beautiful even because bottom of the deck we get the six of swords I don't know if I uh, I have told uh, six of wands or six of swords, but we get the both of them, so uh, we are good to go. <laughs> Still, uh, we can be successful, guys. We can move forward, leaving behind rough waters, uh, whatever misunderstandings uh, may have been involved uh, within this situation. If it is a connection uh, already established. Um, some misunderstandings again um, may have taken place a moment a quiet moment of silence absolutely with the four of swords um, to think things straight beautiful to see the four of swords with the young man because this meaningful introspection that can be helpful also in order to ease the energies um, mind body and soul you know this can be the opportunity to um, dive deeper into the understanding of a particular situation in order to facilitate the enlightenment that comes with the young man. So truly the chance to see a situation from a different standpoint, a uh, different point of view. And this ability that comes along also with a great deal of humility. Can make the difference in order to be successful so six of ones six of swords going hand in hand in order to bring balance and fairness within a situation kind of being able to fulfill some desire that can be involved that's why the imagine oracle guidance can be meaningful because if a a certain factor a certain virtue a certain uh, value is important for you or for the other person also um, it is crucial to be clear about it in order to find the proper common ground and be able to make the best out of that uh, meaningful value and so we can be successful the warrior that comes back from the battle victorious success triumph recognition so we can understand each other because we have gone through the hangman four of swords process this is also healing uh, that can be helpful considering the overwhelming energy that um, is offered by the eight of swords 
and then we move forward without making any fuss about anything because of the six of swords towards scenarios that are more in alignment with wishes and desires beautiful ace of wands look at the contrast between the eight of swords and the ace of wands a bright new spark that can facilitate a new beginning yes but a new passionate way of doing things together for example there is a spark that can be ignited in favor of the connection so this can be about a situation that was already in place um, we may have had some misunderstanding involved we can resolve it because we are called to see things in a different perspective in order to be successful and this can also be a situation where there is the desire to ignite a connection ace of wands but for whatever reason uh, we may still be in the building up of the connection and the communication is not flowing properly always keeping in mind the interesting times that this uh, 2020 has offered to all of us so maybe we cannot uh, see each other we cannot um, interact with each other as we may desire uh, to do and so the overwhelming energies of the eight of swords uh, take place um, the situation is not balanced as we may want it to be but seeing things in a different perspective embracing patience because it is something that all of us are called to do right now this can be the opportunity to take notice of something that can even work in favor of the situation moving forward with patience with maturity with the willingness to do things with a little bit more of time because maybe we can see the finish line offered by the ace of wands that can be the ignition again of the connection for those of you that may desire to uh, establish one with a special person so there are two scenarios basically in this uh, flow of energies guys but the both of them can be auspicious granted the fair and balanced approach that can be helpful in order to um, interact in a productive way or establish the conditions that can uh, work in favor of a brand new opportunity with someone that can be meaningful um, for you in a place like home so this is interesting um let's see where these energies are going guys i will leave it at that for now i truly hope it was helpful i'll continue on vimeo see you there if you want to join me the link is below let us know if you resonate leave a comment like share and subscribe to the channel until next time i wish you all the best guys take very good care of you and i will talk to you soon